Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore. In today's episode, I fix a hole. I attend an important meeting. And I finish the bamboo farm. And of course, there's a few other things that I want to get done as well. So, let's get started. And the first thing I want to work on today is something that's been bothering me for quite a while. I fly over it just about every day and every time I look at it, I cringe because it's nasty, it's horrible and I'm going to take care of it right now. And I am of course referring to the ravine. So I've got myself a shulker box full of dirt and that should be enough to cover up this entire thing. It is of course going to take quite a while to do it, so I think the best thing to do would be to jump into a time lapse and speed things up a bit. Let's go. And finally the ravine has been covered up, the eyesore is gone and already I can think of quite a few things that I would like to do here. And first and foremost in my mind is of course a little bit of a lake. And it's going to look beautiful because with a lake in place we can also build a little bridge going from the bamboo side to the mushroom and that's going to be absolutely fantastic. But first there's something I need to attend to because while I was busy covering up the ravine some mail arrived and I have been called to a meeting. And the meeting request came from a certain Mr. Green who lives in a faraway land and it's going to take me some time to get there. So I've hopped onto the plane and I am heading over there right now. Now Mr. Green wants to speak about my bamboo farm because apparently he is very knowledgeable about bamboo and he has great experience in the field of bamboo. So we're heading over there to see him and to hear what he has in mind. I'm sure anything he has to say will only benefit us both. So let's just check in on this village quickly because I haven't seen it before and uh, nothing really interesting here. So let's carry on because we certainly do not want to keep Mr. Green waiting. I'm sure he can make our bamboo form a resounding success. So let's head over there and let's go hear what he has to say. And I do believe this is Mr. Green's office right here. And this certainly does take the concept of open plan offices to a whole new level. And that's the big man himself right over there, Mr. Green. So let's just go in here. Now apparently I have to observe the customs. I have to give him a gift as I arrive. And um, oh, then I have to take my seat over here. So let's get seated. I can see why they call him Mr. Green with a, a nose like that. And apparently Mr. Green doesn't say much, but as long as he's not speaking to you, you are still in his good books. As soon as he starts yelling, you are in trouble. And ooh, Mr. Green really does like my gifts. So let's get talking some business because the sun is already going down and we still have much business to discuss. So Mr. Green, sir, if you would, please tell me about your plan for my bamboo farm and how we can use it to build a great, great success. And it seems that Mr. Green is very silent. He must be pondering very hard and I think he is about to rock my world with the greatest plan ever. And once we got talking, Mr. Green laid out his entire plan. He wants to acquire a stake in my bamboo farm and in return, he will provide me with some of his special knowledge about growing bamboo and making bamboo a viable crop. So. I'm going to go home and I'm going to await some correspondence from Mr. Green. He said it would arrive shortly. Oh, and I do believe that is the mailman. Let's go see if we have received a package. I do hope that's from Mr. Green. And yes, we have a package and inside we have a business proposal, which is excellent news indeed, because it means Mr. Green is interested. So let's see what he has to say. Esteemed Mr. Rex. Hey, that's me. I'm esteemed. 
Anyway, thank you for the very agreeable meeting. I do believe that we have much we can offer each other. Your generous gifts and great knowledge of our customs has warmed my heart, and I do believe we can build a partnership. I will soon send plans for the new bamboo farm. However, you will first have to demolish the mess that currently occupies the land. That's a bit harsh, but fair. It is a bit of a mess at the moment. I can't deny that. Anyway, let's continue. Keep an eye out for further correspondence, which will include a list of materials you will need to procure in order to build our vision. Regards, Mr. Green. Well, that is absolutely brilliant news. So let's get started straight away and let's take care of that eyesore that Mr. Green is concerned about because, yeah, well, you'll see. And here we are, and there is the mess that Mr. Green is referring to. Now, I tried to build something to make it fancy, and I thought of using a lot of bright colors, and, uh, well, yeah. As you can see, it hasn't really worked out very well for me so far, so I'm excited to see what Mr. Green has in mind. But first, we need to do what he says, and we need to take down this abomination that I've created here. Now, of course, I'm going to leave the farm itself intact because that's actually not been doing too badly. It's producing a few bamboo. I've used a lot of it already. But let's get started and let's tear this thing down. And there we go. We have torn down what we have created and we are ready to start again. I've left the base because I think that'll be a good platform to start from, but I am very excited to see what Mr. Green has in mind. Now, of course, we still have the farm standing as it is, and uh, let's just grab this piece of terracotta over there. And sometimes you just need to retrace your steps, take a look at what you've done, judge it, and then decide that it's simply not good enough. So when, uh, ow. So when Mr. Green sends over the plans, we can get started, and I think this time, we'll have something that's going to look fantastic. And yes, we have received some mail, and I do believe this is the plans. Let's see what Mr. Green has to say this time. Esteemed Mr. X, <laughs> I am pleased to hear that the old mess has been demolished. Okay, you can stop with the old mess now. I know it was bad, and I have taken care of it. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to hear that the old mess has been demolished and our bamboo farm is ready for its brand new image. Please find attached a list of materials and plans for our proud new venture. I look forward to seeing it all come together and will be in touch shortly. Regards, Mr. Green. So now that we've got our list of materials and we have our plans, it is time to get gathering, get everything we need, and then we can start building our new bamboo farm. And I've read the list of materials that Mr. Green sent through, and I thought most of the things that we need we'll be able to get in our beautiful warehouse over there. But no, unfortunately not. We need to go over there. We need to go into the nether because quite a few of the materials that we need can only be found in the nether. And I'm not very excited about the prospect because the nether is where I usually die. But hopefully this time we can get in, get what we need, and get out without any incident. So, nothing to do but head through the portal and get collecting. Now the first thing I'm going to need is some warped stem, but I'm not going to collect that in the nether itself. I'm going to do this the big brain way. I'm going to get myself some warped fungus, I'm going to get myself some warped nylium, and then I'm going to cultivate it in the overworld. Now there's quite a few warped fungus available in these forests, so I'm going to grab as much as I possibly can, avoid the enderman over there, and then I'm going to grab some warped nylium, and once I've got those, I will go and collect the rest of the materials. Now, here we go, these are plentiful over here, so let's just grab up as much of these as we possibly can get our hands on, and I think there's just one or two more over on this side. Now the other two materials that I need is some basalt and plenty of blackstone. Now I do know that you can build a basalt generator, but I don't think you can generate blackstone. I think you have to find it naturally occurring in the nether. 
which really sucks because I've been playing around with it a little bit and it is actually a beautiful block to work with. However, I've got a nice little patch over here so I can collect all of this blackstone over here and that should give me more than I would need for this build and quite a bit to spare. So let's just gather up all of this. I will collect some of the basalt seeing as I'm already here while I'm busy mining the blackstone and that means I won't have to build a generator for that just yet. But maybe in the future it might be needed. And I think that is all the blackstone and basalt that I'm going to need. So once again, I am getting the heck out of the nether. And as you can see, my special little patch of blackstone isn't too far from the portal at all. And this time, I've got my golden helmet on and there's no piglins that are going to be following me through. And now that we've got our warped fungus in hand, it's time to start cultivating our warped stem. And the first thing I need to do is level out a bit of an area over here and this is where we're going to be doing our farming. Next thing, we're laying down some warped nylium. And then we are ready to put down our warped fungus. And finally, courtesy of our beautiful new skeleton farm, we've got plenty of bone meal to make these warped fungus grow big and tall. And then all that's left to do is harvest our warped stem. And we're getting plenty of it. And we've also got a ton of warped wart blocks. We've got quite a bit of warped stem. And as a bonus, we also collected a few shroom lights in the process. Not too shabby. So all that's left to do now is collect the remaining materials on our list. And there's just a few that we don't have yet. So... Let's get going, let's grab those materials. And the first is some cherry wood. We're gonna need plenty. And then of course we also need some strip cherry. We need some acacia wood. A good chunk of birch wood. We also need a ton of light gray dye because we need them to dye wool to make some banners. And then finally, we need a lot of white concrete. And uh, why, why, did, why did I jump down? I needed to mine it from the top, so... Oh, well. Okay, let's just enjoy the ride down. And then we'll fly back up. And let's play a game. Let's see if we can nail this landing first time. All right, here we go. And yes, nailed it. So let's get mining. Let's collect this white concrete. And then, ladies and gentlemen... Let's get building. And finally, our bamboo farm is complete. And it is looking absolutely spectacular. 
I love the little pond we've got going there. I love the big cherry tree. But most of all, I love the building itself. It's a style that I've never built in before. And I've used quite a few different techniques that I haven't dabbled in before either. I tried to go with a gradient from the pink at the bottom all the way to the white at the top. And then on the roof themselves, I've also used that black stone, deep slate and stone grading. And I think this has turned out phenomenally well. Just look at it. And let's take a quick tour from ground level. Firstly, the pond over here. We've got some lily pads. We've got some cattails over there in the water. And then we've got our beautiful little bridge going over to here where we've got the cherry tree, which is looking beautiful. And of course, the farm itself. And if we go inside, you'll see we've got a little bit of a Zen garden here just to keep the energy right and keep the bamboo growing. And then I've also noticed that we are currently on day 1972, which means in the next episode, we will probably hit 2000 days. But that's all the time we have today. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to see some more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time, beautiful people, stay awesome. Bye-bye.